Hey everybody, it's Tim with JimCrafter.com, back at you with another video, and today I've got something special. Now I know I always say that, but I'm really excited about what I have for you today. In the five plus years I've been doing Jim Crafter, I've never received more requests from readers and viewers to review a product than I have to review this particular product. Um, so I'm pretty happy to have it. A couple of reasons I think for that. Number one, this is brand new, it just came out. Number two, and this never happens, I think I'm the first YouTube and online reviewer to get my hands on one of these. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing the Rep Fitness Black Diamond Power Bar. Alrighty, we got it out of the tube and I want to show you once again that Rep really has upped their game as far as shipping barbells. Uh, great packaging when I got home uh, just a little bit ago. The tube was sitting out in the snow and ice outside my garage. Everything's still in, in great shape. Uh, they put end caps on each end of the barbell, foam around the sleeve, rubber around the shoulder, plastic bag encompassing the whole bar, which basically means that your bar is going to show up in great shape. So let's take a look at it. All right, I got her all unwrapped. And before we take a tour of this bar from end to end, I want to share a couple of quick things with you. First of all, this bar showed up fast. Um, I came home not expecting the bar to be here and it was sitting outside my garage in a big pile of ice and snow. And uh, I think the last eight to 10 things I've ordered from Rep have come within about three to five days. So if you're in a hurry to get something, not only does Rep ship most of their things for free uh, and they're showing up in perfect condition, but they get them to you quick now. So big ups to Rep for their shipping. Another big thank you to Rep is that they sent me this bar at no charge. And normally, as you guys know, I like to buy the things that I review because I'm typically buying them for myself. In this particular case, I've never had so many of you guys reach out and ask me to review a product. There's virtually nobody else that I could find with a review of the Black Diamond. Not only is it brand new, I don't think that the, the medium aggressive knurled bars are as enticing for a lot of the home gym channels to review. Whereas for most of the folks that, that I write for and I make videos for, the medium aggressive neural is typically the perfect neural for those people. So there's not a lot out there on this bar. I was gonna charge it on my credit card just because you guys needed to see a review. But when I called rep, they were nice enough to send me one. And I wanna say thank you to them for that because this stuff gets expensive. So <laughs> I'm glad to have this. Let's take a quick look. Okay, here we are at the bar. I want to point out a couple of things on the sleeve just so that you don't panic. When this finish, these black sleeves come out of the, of the uh, packaging, there tends to be a bunch of splotches. And I left a couple on here for you so that you could see. These do clean off. It does take a little bit of effort, but I think it's due to the, there's a coat of oil on these, as I mentioned. And I think the oil gets stuck between the, the plastic and the foam uh, covering and you can even see here. I didn't get it cleaned off. It's about 25 degrees in my garage right now So my hands are freezing and I didn't want to spend an hour cleaning that off um, Once the bar warms up a little bit of of you know low pH cleaner will clean that right off So just want to make sure you knew when you pull these out It's not going to look clean and smooth like this one kind of does where I cleaned it off But uh, it does clean right up. Now let's get down here and take a look at You guys know is one of my favorite things lately and that's their Metal enameled end cap, which I love. There's your single black diamond. As I mentioned, this is a black Duracoat sleeve. The, there's three different sleeve options in this particular bar. You've got black Duracoat, you've got hard chrome, and you've got stainless steel. And we'll talk about the finishes in just a second. Uh, real nice touches, as you've seen on all their new bars. The knocked off corners here. Here we've got the laser engraving or the laser etching on the inside of the, the shoulder, you've got the weight. Uh, I mentioned in the double black diamond bar that this was where it was made. This is actually where it's designed. These bars are all designed in Colorado, however they are made in China. You've got your bushings there. I do believe this is a bronze bushing just like the double black diamond. I'm doing it off the top of my head, so I apologize if that's wrong. Uh, but the bar spin, excellent. Excellent smooth bar spin. That's been the case with all of Rep's bars so far. Now, here's the part you all want to get a look at, and I'm going to try and take some high-res pictures of this for you, too. The neural on this bar is a medium-aggressive volcano neural. This finish is black Cerakote. Um, if you're not familiar, Cerakote does tend to take some of the aggressiveness off of the neural. 
Uh, so I would expect that this is slightly less aggressive than the stainless steel version of this bar, which doesn't have an applied finish. But uh, that's what the neural looks like. And I'm going to try and put a couple of close-ups here on the video for you so that you can see it. Okay, the center neural is the same as the sides. So um, a lot of power bars, you'll find a less aggressive neural on the center. Uh, that's not the case with this one. The neural is the same all the way across the entire bar. So that's the bar itself. Let me get you a couple of final thoughts and some comparisons here. All right, so there you have it. A quick unboxing of the single black diamond power bar by Rep. A couple of thoughts for you, because I know this is what you all reached out to me about. The neural. It is grippier than their old stainless steel power bar although it's really close. It's a lot grippier than their Delta bar. And to me, it's more comfortable for most people. So for folks who are gonna ask me for a recommendation, if you're not a heavy duty power lifter, if you're not a competitive lifter, if you're not a gym rat, if you wear gloves because you don't want your hands to be torn up, if you don't have a lot of calluses, uh, if you're used to work, working out in a commercial gym, um, this is probably going to be the neural that you will want to select of the two black diamond power bars from rep um, it's very comfortable it is very grippy um, i don't think that your hardcore gym guys and gals are going to want this uh, it seems like the the super sharp mountaintop neural is a better suit for those people but i'd say for probably 80 percent of the folks that watch this channel and read the gym crafter site this is probably going to be the bar for you now as I mentioned, I just got home. This was sitting outside. I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. So this is just a quick unboxing video. Um, if you decide you want to order one tonight when I post this, this does come in six finishes. Uh, same as the double black diamond power bar. You're going to have uh, black, green, red, and blue Cerakote, all with black Duracote uh, finish on the sleeves. And then you also are going to have stainless steel with a hard chrome sleeve and then full end-to-end -end stainless steel. So you're going to have six different finishes to pick from uh, on this bar. And then what I'll do is, because it's about 25 degrees in this garage right now, I'm going to, tomorrow, I will film a video that compares this to the double black diamond. I'm going to show you the neural right side by side. I'll also compare this to the old stainless steel power bar, which I still have, so that you can kind of see the difference in the neural there. And I'll compare it to their Delta bar, as well as the, the American Barbell Chewy bar. So those are all of the different bars that you guys have asked me to compare it to. I just don't have time to make that video tonight. So um, I will get in here tomorrow morning, make that video, get it posted sometime tomorrow. But until then, Thank you for reaching out to me. Um, you guys are the reason I was able to get this bar from Rep and not have to spend my own money, so thank you. Um, and uh, thanks for hanging this long into the video while I ramble about barbells. So thanks again, and until tomorrow, I'm Tim with Jim Crafter.